weight loss surgery for children and adolescents is becoming widespread, performed in children as young as five years old. Ruin my gastric bypass is the most common type of procedure in which uh, they cut out nearly the entire stomach. Yes, bariatric surgery in pediatric patients results in weight loss, but also has the potential for serious complications, including pulmonary embolism, shock, intestinal obstruction, postoperative bleeding, leaking along the staple line, and severe malnutrition. Complications include death, a mortality rate of 0.5%. That would mean 1 in 200 kids that go under the knife may die. Infection is identified as the leading cause of death, most often associated with leaking of intestinal contents into the abdominal cavity. Sometimes it doesn't work, you have to go in and do another procedure, and if that doesn't work, we can always try implanting electrodes into their brains, a novel anti-obesity strategy recently reported in the Journal of Neurosurgery. The concept of a deep brain stimulation has always been that placing an electrode somewhere in the brain could make people eat less. They just uh, drill two little holes in your skull, uh, snake some electrodes in a few inches, and then tunnel the wires under your scalp into a pulse generator you implant under the skin on your chest. Uh, you can't crank it up past 5 volts because it induces anxiety and nausea, but even without the nausea, People with electrodes stuck in their brains lost an average of about 10 pounds a year.